the only constant in the government contracting landscape is change, and that change has been accelerating significantly in recent years. Executive Mosaic spoke with CGI Federal President Stephanie Mango in a new video interview to learn more about the major trends and changes shaping today's GovCon market. Raytheon has received a $53.4 million contract modification from the U.S. Navy to further provide support for the dual-band radar systems installed aboard Gerald R. Ford and Zumwalt-class ships. ICF has secured a $36 million task order to help the Department of Homeland Security's Immigration and Customs Enforcement modernize its human resources technology systems in support of a government-wide initiative to recruit and retain more women in law enforcement. Cybersecurity and information technology services firm Electrosoft has named Gavin Green as its first-ever chief corporate development officer. Tetra Tech has won a task order from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Rock Island District, Great Lakes and Ohio River Division, for the creation of a new navigation lock on the Illinois River. Newt Olson, previously the executive director of program operations at Mantech, has been appointed as vice president at CACI, according to his LinkedIn post published Friday. The Defense Innovation Unit has awarded contracts to GE Aerospace subsidiary Innovering and Hermias to develop prototypes of hypersonic test systems for the Department of Defense under the Hypersonic and High Cadence Airborne Testing Capabilities Program. Changes has received a contract award from the Department of Homeland Security for enhancing and streamlining the workload analysis and resource models of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2023 Healthcare Summit on December 6, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. Stephen Townsend, a retired U.S. Army general and former commander of Africa Command, has been appointed to the board of directors at Phoenix Defense. The Department of Energy will work with other federal agencies and companies on a collaborative effort that seeks to harness the power of quantum technologies to advance national security, improve the economy, achieve energy security and support sustainability goals.